Shalom, I want to make this real quick. I'm going to entitle this video, The Most High is Only Dealing with the Elect. Also, part of the uh, topic is um, if they persecute you in one city, flee ye into another. And three, if you're not a part of the elect, you are going to take the uh, karagma. Everything is leading to the karagma. Um, anybody that's teaching right now that the karagma is something other than what we say it is, because we're breaking it down the right way, we believe that they sold out. Not talking about these individuals right here. This is just, I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to come back to this right here. I was just watching this video. Um, they're talking about March, which is two months away. They're going to, on a, on, a, on a partial level, they're going digi to digi digitalize banks, not all banks, but it's going to follow a trend. And eventually, I don't know what their timetable is, but eventually it will lead to uh, total, a total digital system, which is uh, called the, uh, the CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency. Everything's going to be digital. They're going to know, you know, what you're going to buy. What If you go to the store, you buy a bag of potato chips and a Coca-Cola. They know that you purchase a bag of potato chips and a Coca-Cola. Cola. They know who you are because your ID is going to be linked to the system. They even know the exact time that you purchase the potato chips in a, a bottle of Coke. They they will know if you went to a, you get a some chick you, you you with your woman, and you have an affair with a chick at the job, and you go to the hotel. They're gonna know that you went to that hotel. You was they're gonna know the time that you clocked in, the time that you clocked out. Um. They're going to know the woman that you went with. So this is a, a total, uh, a, a total, uh, how can I say this? I want to be choice with my words. Where everything that you, you're going to become slaves, digital slaves. That's the plan. And ultimately, every, everyone will go from the, their smartphones to a QR code to uh, the actual MOTB. And you have, you know, we have, you have us here at GMS that know exactly what's going on. We see what's going on as it gets closer to that system. Because it's just, because it's a gradual system. It's not just going to happen overnight. It's a gradual thing. One thing's going to lead to another. The ultimate thing is to be a part of this system is you have to be um, MOTB. Let me just say this. We're talking about this at the camp. Um, it should be this week, this Monday, which is the uh, World Economic Forum. I've been watching the World Economic Forum for years. And, uh, you know, you do do the research, you find out the f one of the founders or the founder is uh, uh, Carl Schwab, the guy with the thick uh, German accent, bald-headed man, tall man, Edomite. I don't know if he's the, the only founder or the main founder, or I, I believe when you do his research, and I did his research before, that he uh, came up under uh, Henry Kitch Kissinger, which, by the way, is German. You know the team, the Um 
so when this comes on, I be, I'm almost positive I can go to Google and I can put put in World Economic Forum. When does it start? It'll give me the date. If it's this Monday, because it's always in the month of January. It's like a week or two weeks in. And so if you're in the know, if you understand the MOTB in the system, if you're part of GMS, of course you understand. So I urge you to watch, try to watch as much as you can because that World Economic Forum meeting in Davos, Switzerland, by the way, it, it's not gonna be one, a one day meeting. It's, I believe it's for the whole week. And what I do is I'll watch it on, um, it's on um, CNBC. And it's on there all day. I won't be able to watch it all day, but I'll watch the, the, the when I'm at home, I, I'll watch it. And basically that later that night in the, on YouTube, they'll go into the details of what was said. And they'll probably, you make you know a lot of the speeches that are made by these different members will probably be on YouTube or on, or on other uh, platforms. So you know you got to watch prophecy. You got to watch prophecy. You know you see something happens that looks like a prophecy is going to come to pass, then you watch it closely. But um, ultimately, you have I don't like I said I don't know these individuals. The scriptures that, if you watch this video, the scriptures that you, that these individuals pulled out were scriptures that, in the spirit of the way One West or GMS um, puts them out. I don't know, but I believe that they came into this thing by watching either GMS videos, IUIC videos, ISUPK videos, people from One West. These Individuals did, didn't, didn't just wake up one morning and all of a sudden start started learning the scriptures. Uh, they also went into the apocrypha. What Christians do you know? We we were all, for the most part, Christians. What Christians do you know in the, in the Baptist church that has apocrypha? So they were bringing out stuff out of the apocrypha. So uh, I'll be safe to say that they either, they either watched the elder over here Maybe they watch GMS, maybe they watch IUIC, maybe they watch all of them, Sakari. And instead of getting in contact with them, I don't know what their backstory is. Ultimately, they're doing their own thing. I don't recognize these individuals. So you had a back and forth with the elder here and these individuals, which I don't know their name. When you watch this whole video, he's, at, he's teaching at one location, you can hear these individuals teaching and you can hear their voice, you know, so it's kind of bothersome. So he confronted them and they, they said that they were there first and you're out of order. It's a back and forth thing. That's why the scriptures say if they persecute you in one city, then flee into, into another. Because you can't think if you have somebody across the street, uh, hidden scriptures as well. So this, so the Lord said in the Great Commission, the first Great Commission, if you want to make, if you, you want to go to Deuteronomy, um, uh, Matthew 28, they call it the Great Comm Commission. The, tr the Great Commission was during the time of, uh, or, um, in uh, Matthew's 10th chapter. Read that whole chapter. That's the Great Commission because the Lord told you exactly who to go to, what to do, um, it tells you to, when you come into a city, give your peace. If, if they don't accept your peace, take your peace back, shake the dust off your feet. If they persecute you in one city, go you into another city. So either he's persecuting them or they're persecuting him. Either way, it says, if they persecute you in one city, flee you into another. And I said this before, all you had to do is go someplace else. Just go someplace else. We're sheep in the midst of wolves. We're not the bad guys. Now, now he, I didn't see this whole video, but he said one of these individuals offered to fight. Well, we want to fight. 
I didn't see that part of the video because I kind of watched some of the video, I kind of jumped around. So I said, let me do a video on this. There was a situation with a lot, Abraham's um, nephew, where they were so doing so well, with cattle and riches, that the servants of Abraham and the servants of Lot were, you know, they were squabbling with each other. So Abraham got together with Lot. And you know what Abraham said? Well, she's the, the uncle. He's the elder. He said, look, we got to do something about this. He said, you go wherever you want to go. You go to the east, west, north, and south. You, you get to choose where you want to go. And I'll go to the other place. So, so um, Abraham took the low, what he calls the low, the low ground, the low road, all right? Because we're 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 um we're um, um sheep in the midst of wolves, right? We're wise as serpents, but yet harm and harmless as doves. We are we are sheep in the midst of wolves. So whether these guys are the wolves and you're the sheep or whether you're the wolf and they're the sheep, I'm saying it that way. I'm just saying it that way. Because they say, see, see you going off you too hard. You, you ain't listening to the whole thing. I'm saying either, however it works. <clears throat> Think about this. Go back to the story of Abraham and Lot. And what did they do? And what did Lot do? Lot's choice was to go down into the area of Sodom and Gomorrah, those five cities, two principal cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. And that's, that's why the Lord, that's why uh, Abraham prayed to the Lord about the right, you know, if there's 50 righteous, 40 righteous and so forth, because he, 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 he gave them, he said, look, you pick where you want to go. You get the first choice. And I'll be second. So in the future, just go someplace else. Like we do up here in New York. We go someplace. If, there's, if, it's, if it's too much, hey, when people come around, when people kind of come around to watch us, I'm talking about guys that's been in this truth, that know the truth, that should be out there teaching. They'll come around just to be around us and hang around us. Just do the work. You got the commission like all of us. Just do the work. So if you deal with any encounter, just move on. Just move on. If you got to tr drive 10 miles out of the way and you teach, and then some people come across, some Israelites come. And oh, and another thing, a woman, Edomite woman came up for the Christian God nonsense. So I knew, I knew that was, that, that's, those spirits are active. So what you do is you, you, you move it you move it to someplace else. That's all you do. That's all you got to do. But anyway, I'm not going to say too much else. Um, you know, this year, and by the way, brothers had dreams. A brother had a dream about me, a positive dream. Then another brother in the camp had a dream. And then somebody else had a dream. And these, were, they were, these dreams were just brothers having dreams. And, and I said, well, when do you have this dream? Well, just after the year 2023. So I had at least three or four brothers had dreams, heavy spiritual dreams. And um, I believe something major is going to happen this year. You know, they, they, their thing is to push this uh, Karagma by the year 20, the agenda of the year 2020, 20, 2025, 2030. It's going to be a lot quicker than that. But we'll see. We'll see. That's see what you do is you watch the prophecies. The prophets saw the prophecies and they said, "Okay." When they saw uh, Alexander, they went back to the prophecies and said, "That's the guy in, Dan in the book of Daniel." So we know that this place, Babylon, the great U.S., we know that this is Babylon. Why? Because it goes right into the scripture. This has to be Babylon. So it's the same thing with the Karagma. Before the Karagma comes, there's steps to the Karagma. 
and I open I open with uh, you know the fact that you have uh, well I said if you're not at the elect you're going to take the karagma and you're going to be destroyed. So if you got Israelites out here teaching and they're not of the elect, I don't give a damn how many years they put into this truth. If you're not written in the Lamb Book of Life and you're, and you're not one of the elect, you're not going to make it. You're not going to be delivered. And you know why you're not going to be delivered? Because you're going to take that digital O, which, which when you go back to the law, is uh, I love my master um, and I want to I want to be a servant forever. And there was a a, um, a ceremony that took place where they took an uh, earring, let's call it an earring with a hole, and they put it through your ear, and that sick. So when they saw that, and anybody saw that, they knew that you were this guy's servant, that you were a servant to life. So that's what the MOTV is. It's nothing but a digital O. So when you take it, the most high, the how about show me how it was shy cannot deliver you even if the Lord wants to deliver you. Well, that's an Israelite and I want to deliver him. Well, you can't deliver him. You, the Most High, Yahweh Shai cannot deliver that individual because he made a decision whether it's conscience or otherwise. That's why we teach it. He made a decision to, to be this, a servant un, unto the system, unto Esau's system for life. So Yahweh Shai couldn't save you even if he wanted to because Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai is bound to his prophecies. Once you take that karagma, that you're done. And if it doesn't pop out your arm, it stays up in there and it, it becomes a part of you, you, you're done. I don't care if you take it I don't care if you take it and you go out there teaching hard and doing the work of the Most High and you're fasting, you're praying, you're doing everything that the Most High, you know, said do, but 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 you went off and you took the karate because maybe a woman and your children took it, you wound up taking it. And then you're gonna come up with this logical explanation as to well, I gotta eat. See now that's when faith kicks in. So there's going to be a major shakeup. There's going to be a major shakeup when when they when they put up those um, however they put it up, you know, MOTV stations. There's going to, uh, uh, they're going to, there's going to be a major shakeup, a major shakeup. A lot, a lot of Israelites are going to bug the hell out. They're, they're not going to know what to do. They're not going to go. They're not going to know what to do. That's the ultimate thing. That's the ultimate fuck up. You do that, you're done. But but you know what? You, you're going to be destroyed. You'll be burned up by the missiles. But you're going to come back in the kingdom anyway. But you're going to die. You're not going to see. You're going to see the, 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 the ships, but you're not going to be beamed up into it. So the scriptures say strive, strive unto the truth until death. Uh, what does uh, Revelation uh, 3, uh, 2, 2, 10 say? You're going to, some of you will be cast into prison for 10 days. You know, it says, I'm not going to go to it, but I'm paraphrasing it. You know, it says, be, basically, it says, be faithful unto death, and I'll give you a crown of life. I'm just, I'm paraphrasing. I'm not, I'm not going to go to it. Uh, but we're living in a serious time, and I would be surprised if they, if in this year, the year 2023, I'd be surprised if they don't, you know, push, start setting up these uh, Karadmas uh, stations, uh, MOTV stations, I'll be surprised. But it could be 2024, it can be 2025. It could, it, they could start it in 2023. And it may take another two years before it's fully implemented around the planet, because this is a world thing. We're gonna be tested. The world's going to be tested. So you individuals out there that are teaching, if you're not un, at the end of the day, when you were down, a lot of when we were a lot of brothers that came into one west that was teachers that pulled out precepts, 
kept the Sabbath, the Passovers, did everything right, but they fell off. So what's going to happen to them? They will never apply this anyway. First John, the second chapter, they will never apply this anyway. So we're living in a serious time. And um, I see that this year is going to be a major year. I could be wrong. But I don't, I don't believe 2023 is going to go back to uh, 2018. Remember how it was in 2018 and 2019? 2020, 2021, 2022. This, this whole, you know, this is a fucked up situation. 2023 is not going to go back to the year 2018. So, you know, I'm a close, but at the end of the day, if you're not one of the elect, you're not going to make it. I don't give a damn how diligent you are. If you're not one of the elect, you're not going to make it. You're going to have to die and you have to come back. And uh, we here at Great Millstone, we have 100% um, knowledge of the scriptures. So anybody that's teaching contrary to what we're teaching, and I'll use the perfect example, the MOTB. We're teaching the correct, we're, we're teaching Revelation 13 and 16 correctly, 100% correct, correct. As opposed to the IUIC and the ISUBK or any other group out there that teaches us uh, embargo, it's Christianity, it's sin. Like I said, there's going to be a major shakeup. There's going to be a major shakeup. With these Israelites out, out here. Some of them that have been faithful in certain camps are going to leave the camps. Don't be surprised if certain men in GMS leave or become disenchanted turn your back on the plow. I, I believe uh, 2023 is going to be a crucial year, but we'll see. It may be, it, it, it may be another 2022. So, like I said, just if, if, if there's Brothers that are teaching on the street, you've been you've been teaching on that corner ten years. Then these brothers come up and they just start teaching. You don't have to talk to them. Just just go some oh let's go someplace else. Let's go ten miles away to another place. Let's go five miles away. Let's come out at a different time and not be around them. Because we got to take the low road. We, we are the sheep. We are the sheep. Remember that. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say shalom.